This one I'm gonna tie for you is a Rojo Midge. It was the very first pattern that Umpua picked up from me uh, several years ago. And I wanna say 20 some years, and it's still one of my best selling flies. I get a lot of questions on tying in general. How do you get beads on hooks? And it might seem like a very simple deal, but here's what I do. Whether it's a metal bead, or a little glass bead like this. I'll moisture my finger um, so the bead will stick onto my tip of my finger. Then I just grab my hook, put the point in, spin it around, and there's it's, it's on. So hopefully that'll help you a little bit uh, when you do that next time. Now, I'm going to be using this stuff for the front gill um, called Rojo. I, it, it's Ultra Floss from Ultra B. A little hard to find these days. If you can't use it or find it, you can also use some Unistretch floss in white. It kind of has that same properties as the floss and uh, you can use that. But since I have lots of Unifloss, I'm gonna use this, or my, I should say the uh, Rojo Floss. So I'm just gonna do a quick little jam knot, which is one, two, three wraps. And I count my wraps on this fly, or when I put on this bead, because if you don't, many people have trouble getting the bead over this bundle. So I have three wraps. I'll do a little pinch wrap to get it centered. There's four, five, six. I'm gonna cut off the section I'm not gonna use. And then I'm gonna just quickly do a two turns of a whip finish right at the back of that butt. So there's no more than really seven wraps of thread there. Now I can grab this bead and it should slide over that bundle nicely. Next thing I'm gonna do is reattach my thread. Grab some wire. In this case, I am using the Lagerton copper in fine, but if you had extra small in Wapsie, that would work as well. There's lots of different choices you can use. So I'm just going to lay that on my side of the hook, and with thread tension, and tension in my left hand, I'm just going to control that that wire stays right on my side of the hook. I'm gonna go right back down to where it's just above the barb and then come straight back up. Okay, then grab your wire. You're gonna make about seven wraps forward, evenly spaced gaps. Six, seven, whatever you can do to fill that hook up. I'm gonna break this off, just simply give it a little helicopter. Then the next piece is some peacock hurl. And this peacock hurl, I use the hurl that's been dyed bright green. I'll cut off this flimsy little tip. And then I like to tie the stem up against the side of the hook. If you can manage that. So that when I pick this up and my first wrap, that peacock curl stands straight up. Run it right up to the back of the bead. 
Tie it off with a couple of wraps, make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to whip finish. Couple wraps. Then the gills coming off the front of the fly. Basically, I'm going to cut this so that when I'm all done here, it's going to fold back almost to where the peacock curl is. And if you have a little dubbing brush, a needle, open this floss up. Lots of times I'll just grab my whip finish tool. They usually have kind of a tight little point here. You can open it up. Timco makes this uh, brush that's really nice. I use it all the time for things like that. And then what I'll do with this wing is, since it's straight across and pretty blunt, I like to come in off to the side and just kind of give it a little wedge cut. You have to have really sharp scissors to do that. But uh, that's it. So when this is in the water, this is going to, come back, pop forward, has a lot of different, some movement to this fly. Also, I've found that this floss um, is opaque. It doesn't go translucent like some other materials. And it doesn't take on colors of what's in the river. If the river's kind of, you get moss on it, it's not gonna turn green. Um, it stays really white and uh, has a lot of contrast in the water. So that's it. That is the Rojo Midge. You can tie it in several colors. We got a new purple that's been a big hit. Um, I also do it in red, which is probably the number one sold fly in this series uh, by Umpqua. There's also an olive. And my personal favorite is the black, size 20. I probably fish that uh, throughout the winter. Uh, pretty much any river system, even though it's a little bit bigger, it, it works really well. So, Rojo Midge, give it a shot. Thank you.